Hi, today seems to be the day that I make all these videos with my portable little device here. Reboot and select proper boot device, insert media in selected boot device and press a key. Maybe something you've seen before, maybe you've sold it already or maybe you just don't know what to do. This is just a nuisance and it's I know what to do but uh, it takes time, right? Control alt delete right Control alt delete the combo press it and you need to go to your bias settings your 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 motherboard settings so how will we do that Control alt t let's do an f8 in my case there is delete there is the escape some have f12 it's dependent on every system maybe you see something else pop up and then you say oh that's what i should do press some kind of combination or just one key I need to go to this one. Actually, it's already solved if I do this, right? If I say that's where you need to boot from, it, at this point in time, it doesn't know. It's stupid, right? The motherboard, I switched something in here uh, with SSDs and it wants to boot up the wrong partition from my hard disk, so from my SSD. So doing this will work, right? But for next time around, I have to do it again and again and again. So maybe it's better I go inside the setup and then you see another bias. Look at erklinks.com. We have lots and lots of videos about bias. So UFI, bias utility, advanced. Yes, it's SS. And yeah, you have to figure out what to do. You navigate with the uh, mouse if you have it, right? You can have a mouse, a little mouse that I have here or with arrows, which I'm accustomed to do in the older machines, the older, older uh, biases. I need to go to boot and then tool, I guess. No, it's going to be boot, fast boot, all that. Maybe just tell you that you need to ensure some things. Let's see down here. Setup mode, advanced mode, compatibility support module. I've enabled this UFI and the uh, legacy is enabled. Ignore storage, ignore, no, both. And then the secure boot, other OS is what I've selected. Yeah, we are other so, uh, OS and that's the thing here. It wants to boot up not with the UFI, so the small partition f 32, but with my actual hard disk. No, my friend, no, my friend, you need to go and boot from this guy. And then later on, if that's not working, you can try this one and then you can try this one, which is my, what is this? No, is this ATAPI? Is that, is this, has it still a CD-ROM? I think so. That one has still, I think the last one of Farmer Machines that still has a DVD. That's it, that's it. Tell the system where to boot up with forever and ever, unless you want to have press this button all the time and boot up. So we going go for an exit. How do we go for an exit like this? Save changes and reset. Okay, it's gonna save everything, and I'm not gonna touch anything. My hands are here, right? Nothing to do. I just wait, and then the machine is gonna boot into. UFI and then it finds everything and then will have its system. Maybe you knew this already, maybe not, so voila.